Hi, this is Coach Nate with another DestroyTheBaseball.com video newsletter. The topic of today's newsletter is the secret to hitting it harder and further, the power triangle. Well, I got an email recently from a guy that I just got done coaching, and he's one of my favorite young men and players that I, I've ever coached. Uh, he did a great job working hard to make himself into a really good ball player by the time he finished with me at age 12. And now he's moving forward to the bigger fields at the next level. And he was a power hitter in, uh, at my level in Little League, and now he's interested in being a power hitter at the next level. He's a big kid. Uh, he's got big, strong legs, big, strong arms, big upper body. He's a good all-around athlete, but he's interested in uh, getting stronger. And one of the things that I told him is there's other things he can be working on that will increase his power and get him hitting the ball harder. But first I have a quote. If you look at the best combination power and hit for average players in baseball history, their physical size was not a primary attribute in their hitting the ball long or hitting the ball hard. Guys like Ted Williams and Hank Aaron were average size for fellow Major League outfielders. Yet they combined for nearly 4,000 RBIs, over 1,200 home runs, and hit a combined average of nearly 350. Their secret was the power triangle. Their ability to transfer their weight power energy from the back foot to the front foot in the correct sequence to maximize balance and power to the ball was their secret sauce. They were masters of footwork and timing. They swung no harder than anyone else and there have been hundreds of bigger players who were never as productive as they were. Before hitting the weights, hit the cage and master that transition footwork of the power triangle. Now the email. Hey coach, great to hear from you. My summer is going great. Thank you for asking. I'm going to skip fall ball and play football. Then when football is over, I'm going to get into the weight room. I want to get stronger to get the ball over those pony fences. What do you think I need to be working on after football? Well, again, as I described in the opening, this particular player is a, is a large, strong individual. He's got strong legs, a very strong upper body, big arms, and he's just a naturally big kid for his age. He does a lot of things really well technically, but his biggest area for improvement is an area that will also help him with his power and hitting the ball further. He needs to work on his feet, and this is like many hitters, specifically how well and how smooth and how quickly can they transition their weight power energy from their back hip, back leg, if you will, to the strong front leg. I refer to this process of transition as the power triangle. Before I'd get in the weight room and lift a bunch of weights, especially at his age, I would work on my footwork. I would work on the things that make a hitter a power hitter, like Ted Williams, Hank Aaron, and guys like that. So the goal is, as a hitter, to work on these things, is to do drill work and to do hitting work where you focus your mind on the physical triggers that you need to feel as a hitter to know that you are making the power triangle happen in your swing. What's the power triangle? It's simply the idea that you want the loose back foot. You don't want it cemented to the ground. You want it flexible. You want it twistable. The weight, the energy is going to be forced off the front side of that back foot to the soft front foot on the load and then finally on the launch to the ball, to the strike of the ball, a very firm post on that front heel. As a hitter, you should strive for the physical triggers of, first of all, the transition feeling of a pinch in your midsection from the back of your backside midsection to the front of your frontside midsection. You will feel a stress, a fatigue, and a pinch. 
almost at the exact same time you post on that front heel, that body weight energy will be held up by that front leg. You will feel stress. You will feel a fatigue in your knee area, below and above the knee, especially on the side of the knee, inside part of the knee. As a hitter, you want to be searching for those things. And the timing is so critical. You want to make sure that you're getting that front leg down and posted earlier and earlier in your swing because you're going to drive through the ball off of that front leg, that strong posted front leg. So you're searching all the time for these physical triggers. So any drills that you can do, any work you can do should emphasize the power triangle. Back toe, soft front foot to the strong front heel leading to trigger of the swing to the ball. You feel all these things we just talked about. And that's your goal as a hitter is to feel these things because you're going to be your own coach as you search each rep for whether or not you're doing the things you need to do on a physical level. So if you found this video of value today, please subscribe to my page or my channel and you'll be notified of any future videos as they become available. Also share this video with anyone out there you think might get value or benefit from it. Leave comments, information, anything you feel will raise a discussion and help our overall goal which is to help young hitters come alive and unleash that rock solid relentless self-confidence that we all want them to have on the field and in life. And if your hitter has a video from the game you just played or from a practice session, send it to me. I will analyze it, put together a report, and send you back a report and action plan free of charge so you have a plan going forward for your hitter. And reminder, this is a free community, so donations are always welcome. You can go to the website, destroythebaseball.com, donate button in the upper right-hand corner, click on it. And I will talk to you soon.